So about about five days ago, I uh, I was the victim of credit card not credit card fraud but identity theft. Um, I was looking online at like computer stuff to purchase because I may be giving my computer away to my aunt. So um, I was looking at a computer to replace mine with and then after pricing everything out like all the parts and bits and bobs and whatever I took my bank account to make sure I had enough funds you know I said the balance was so and so but then I looked at the available balance and it said zero and I was like um immediately my heart sank like crap where did my money go um I had the past couple weeks I've been purchasing a lot of stuff offline for this motorcycle to basically get it road ready like it is now like tires chain tool everything um so when i saw my money was gone i was like crap i hope the i hope it's a glitch or whatever i hope it's just the system and the next day was uh, veterans day so i was like okay i'll just you know check my bank account in the morning sure enough i checked it in the morning it was still zero um, i was gonna go to the bank and see what was up but i couldn't because it was a holiday it was veterans day so like great so I gotta wait another day you know throughout the day I was periodically checking to see if I had money in my account um, every time I checked it was zero 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 I was like crap so finally Friday you know the day after Veterans Day I went to uh, the bank to ask them what was up so I went to the bank and she uh, the lady at the counter was kept like did you charge this to your account do you charge like when I purchased something with my debit card it takes a few days for it to register and actually put it into my account to show where the money went. So the transaction on my account had just been made. So it hadn't registered yet. So I went to the bank because it still wasn't in the account. And I was like, she kept on uh, naming all these expenses on my account. Like she's like, did you charge this? And I was like, yes, yes, and yes. And then uh, then she came across one. Did you buy something from overstock.com? I was like, um, no. <laughs> so she's like, okay, well, here, first try this. She gave me the phone number to overstock.com. So I called them up, you know, told them my whole situation. My, you know, I did not make the purchase, so I need to use my card or whatever. And this purchase had ex uh, cleared out my bank account, actually. Um,. I had no money in my bank account. It was actually my savings account that the card was linked to. It was my debit card. And um, it had cleared out my checking account. And since I didn't have a sufficient amount of funds in my checking account, it actually drew from my savings account too. So my whole bank account, I had $9 left. Um, I called Overstock.com, let them know about it. Uh, unfortunately, the package was supposed to be delivered that day that I called. Um, I don't know if the person who got my information planned that right around the holidays, so I basically wouldn't be able to cancel it until the day it'd be delivered. But it was pretty smart on their half. Um, the guys were like, okay, well, if the package is delivered, we'll give you refunds still. And, you know, if, um, if, uh, you know, if we can intercept the UPS guy, it'd be even better because we'll just, um, you know, I'll get the package back and then we'll give you refunds still. But it's like, regardless, you'll be getting your money back. So I was, I was very, very relieved to know I would get my money back. Because I don't make that much money. And I don't have that much money. And it just sucked to look at my bank account and it was completely gone. It was about... Uh, like a week and a half to two weeks worth of work that was basically taken from my account. Which really sucked. It wasn't like a huge amount. But... The uh, the package was being delivered to somewhere in Georgia, so someone in someone in Georgia basically stole my identity. VTech. <laughs> oh, the um, what they ordered was a uh, one of those big KitchenAid mixers, uh, one of those very very expensive ones. It was three hundred and twenty four dollars a charge to my account, and that doesn't seem like a lot to some people, but to me that was a lot of money because I don't make much money at all. And that was enough to basically clear out my account. Um, but, you know, after sweating it out for two days, I realized that 
Yeah, I talked to the guy. They said, you know, he, everything will be fine. I'll be getting my money back eventually. So it's pretty exciting. It irks me so much that someone's gonna, you know, steal someone else's money, and especially mine because I I don't make much money, and it I don't know. I hate people who steal from other people. That's just like the scum of the earth. Well, long story short, I'll be getting all my money back, which is great. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be getting a new debit card in the mail, as well as a new PIN number for my debit card. I don't know how they got my car credit card information, or my debit card information, but I'm definitely going to be a lot more careful next time I purchase stuff offline, make sure everything's legitimate. What I think it was is <clears throat> if I ordered something from a company. Sometimes people in that company can get your credit card information. Um, I'm thinking someone in one of the companies I ordered from or whatever was basically very sketchy and took credit card numbers. I wonder if I was the only one or what, but I, I don't know.